What have I got here? Well, it's a radio today based on a little 10 pin I see called the RDA 5807M and I got interested in this IC when I got an MP3 player in the mail and lo and behold there was this tiny 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 10 pin chip and uh, yeah I googled its part number as you do and it turns out that it's an FM radio and I thought that was quite remarkable such a tiny chip is a complete FM radio that's controlled by uh, two wire protocol I squared C compatible and uh, well we'll tune to radio stations pretty much the whole world over and uh, so here I've got it up and running and I'll do a bit of a drawing to show what I've got configured but uh, this is the aerial here it's just a, a random wire aerial there's the little module here and uh, Jeez, this was bought on AliExpress for about 73 cents or so. Uh, really, really cheap little module on a small uh, circuit board with a uh, 32 kilohertz uh, watch crystal on there as well. And that's pretty much it. There might be a capacitor on it, but that's about it. And uh, I'm just feeding it into my uh, little audio amplifier here, the PAM. 8403 which I uh, covered in a previous video also got a small logic shifter uh, logic level shifter circuit board here and uh, an Arduino Pro Mini that's uh, running the show so that's just programming this little 3.3 volt device uh, via this level shifter because the Arduino is running at 5 volts and it's just uh, programming it with the uh, two wire uh, I squared C compatible uh, commands required to get this guy doing what we need it to do and uh, here's a little 3.3 volt regulator as well that's bringing down the 5 volts that's powered, powering the Arduino down to 3.3 volts for this guy. If you're wondering what I'm listening to at the moment well it's free YouTube music that I'm broadcasting on 107.9 megahertz with this micro emitter transmitter that I built years ago this thing's been gathering dust but well the idea of these things was that uh, in the days before car stereos had an audio input uh, for an mp3 player or cd player at the time you'd have to uh, broadcast somewhere on the fm band in order to get your you know brand new ipod onto your car stereo so i built this up and uh, it's been superseded as we've upgraded car stereos and cars and so on and so forth but it becomes useful here because uh, rather than potentially breaching copyright and playing somebody's radio station locally i'm able to broadcast a very weak signal uh, only goes for a few meters uh, around the house with this little micro emitter which is based on the Rome BF sorry BH 1417FIC and it still works a treat uh, that's been powered in turn by uh, a little mp3 player module here that uh, I will cover in a later video but uh, so much for the demo of uh, this great little RDA 5807M based radio let's uh, take a little look at how this circuit is put together all right let's start with the module it's a little 10 pin module and it looks as follows so each side of the module has uh, five connections they're actually castellated vias so they don't kind of stick out the way I'm drawing them but uh, I'm kind of drawing it like an IC out of habit and uh, I guess you could kind of number them 1 to 5 on this side 6 to 10 on this side and uh, pin 6 connects to ground and uh, pin 5 connects to VCC 
which in this case is 3.3 volts. Our audio output uh, comes out of pins 7 and 8, so we have our left out and we have our right out. And I'm feeding those into the little amplifier module that I talked about in an earlier video. This pin, pin number 9, is not connected and pin 10 is just our random wire aerial. I found that even just, you know, 10 or 20 centimeters of uh, wire is sufficient to pick up the signals uh, around town. I'm probably 15 k's line of sight from our nearest transmitter and uh, those uh, signals off that transmitter come in loud and clear. I've even tried uh, disconnecting the aerial entirely and uh, it still seems to pull quite a good uh, signal. So uh, it's an impressive, impressive chip. Pins uh, 3 and 4 are also not connected. So that makes things easy. And uh, then pin 1 is your uh, two-wire interface and it's the SDA connection. And pin 2 is the uh, clock connection, so SCL. And uh, because this chip here is running at 3.3 volts and my Arduino is running at 5 volts, I'm using a logic level shifter. This is a little PCB. Again, I picked up off AliExpress uh, for really not much at all. It's got a couple of MOSFETs on it and four little resistors. And uh, the idea is that you connect it to ground and you connect it to 5 volts on the high side and you connect it to uh, your low side voltage. So in this case, 3.3 volts. And what it'll do is uh, shift the logic level signals so that on this side of the board they're all at 3.3 uh, volts maximum and on this side of the board they're at 5 volts maximum. So our clock line and our data line get transferred like that. And the nice thing about this little PCB here is that it's bi-directional so it doesn't really matter whether the data is traversing in this direction or in the opposite direction uh, it'll do the translation to the appropriate voltage for the devices on on either side of this bus so the next thing that this connects to is the Arduino Pro Mini And that's connected to 5 volts and also connected to ground. And there really isn't much else to that. Uh, the only other thing that's on the breadboard here is a little 3.3 volt regulator module. So that takes the 5 volts in and uh, will produce the 3.3 volts out and all that's got on it is a little linear regulator little three pin device and uh, a couple of surface mount capacitors and a little LED to show that it's working so that's really all there is to this circuit um, most of the complexity is in the code here uh, which uh, is all about programming some I squared C registers on this device in order to get it to work. I should note that the orientation of this device is such that the crystal is at the bottom here and then the little 10 pin IC sits above it. So that's how to get your reference for pin 1 there. Once you've got all that connected uh, and flash some code to this device, the radio should come out loud and clear.
through an amplifier connected to these outputs here.